Now that we have installed both Tomcat 8.5 and the Eclipse IDE, we will set up Tomcat inside of Eclipse so that we can launch and debug our Java web applications on Tomcat from within Eclipse. This is the overview of the steps we will follow. First we will add Tomcat server in Eclipse, then we will add a configuration. We will confirm the setup and configuration in the application server view in Eclipse, and then we will run the server from within Eclipse. Now we will launch Eclipse. Go to our workbench and right down here we see our servers view and it says no servers available. Click this link to create a new server. So we click on it. We'll select Apache, Tomcat 8.5. Next, we will select our installation directory of Tomcat. Apache Tomcat 8.5.4.6. Select folder. We'll make sure that we have the JDK as our Java runtime environment. Click apply and close. Click next. Right now we don't have any web applications to run, so we'll just click finish. And here is our server folder now. So let's just double click on this. This shows the overview of our Tomcat environment. We can open the launch configuration. We have the options of arguments and a class path. We can look at our timeouts. Sometimes you have a very slow computer at work and you have to change this to double the amount of time. 90 seconds. Stop in 30 seconds. Modules auto reload by default. Right now we don't have any war applications. So we will save our configuration back to our server. If we right click, we can click start or debug. For now, we'll just click start. And it says the server has been started up. Now, because there's no web application running, it didn't open up a browser window within Eclipse to show us what's running. And we will get to that later in our course.